whoa <laughs> and we're back again and honestly y'all I hope I hope that this is it because actually as I'm uploading this right now I feel really bad that I'm even talking about this again <sighs> but with the comments that I'm seeing and the perpetual negativity I just wanted to kind of do a wrap up and I don't know maybe help some closure options for some people I waited. It's like 1.15 my time. I waited to see if Katie Dewell was going to issue any kind of statement after what she posted yesterday. I waited and then what she posted yesterday disappeared and then I came to the realization last night, well this morning at about 2 a.m. that much like a forced trip to Chuck E. Cheese with your favorite auntie, you ain't getting nothing. <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> so I thought yeah, we'll just go ahead and talk about this. We're going to wind it up because um, I think for me, if I've done anything to help anybody in this scenario, even if it's not a church Katie, if I've done anything to help anybody in this scenario move forward or find closure or think about it or reduce anger, we're all good. We're all good. So um, the thing I want to talk about today, I want to start out with chaos. So the entire process has been chaos. The fans have created chaos. Everybody, the thing that I keep hearing is, oh, you've you calmed it down. You you were not super emotional. And that's because I know when you are super emotional, you do stupid things. Um, I, I am biased, like I said. Um, I did not push my glasses on my nose and go, oh, my, there, there's a thesis waiting to happen. When I saw what happened, I think I turned to my husband and said, suck a tush, suck a tush. So, I'm not, I'm not always like a super balanced person. It bothered me. It, it bothered me and it made me kind of act out for a minute. And then I had to center myself and think about this from my two very different perspectives that I have in, within me. But it's been chaos. And it's been chaos from the get-go. And a lot of that, I have to say, is because Katie has kind of authored this chaos. With the statement, with the retracting of statements, with... Um, the wordplay, it's, it's been a lot of chaos and people go, well, why did you do that? Well, a lot of people, they tend to like chaos because when they feel powerless in life otherwise, if they can generate this chaos, they feel like this author of creation amidst all this stuff that they generate and they kind of sit back and they go, I did that. And, you know, while most of us would go, oh, that's not nice, um, some people really enjoy that. And so we have to kind of take a step back and kind of look at this from all angles. And if you're ever upset, try to look at it from at least four different perspectives, two on each side, and then try to make a decision. Um, but my big thing is why is she being quiet now? I know that's the concern. Why are we quiet now? Well, oftentimes in the worst of ourselves and the worst of our behavior, we find the truth of ourselves. And so maybe, maybe she's restructuring, she's reflecting, maybe she is um, silent because she thinks guesswork is maybe less damning than any statement that she could put out. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't know how to handle this. And so she's just stumped and just completely discombobulated and sitting there not knowing how to handle this. Or maybe she's being very smug and thinking, y'all think what you want, I don't give a flying crap. Either way, all of these options tell us that she needs to heal. She's got some issues. She needs to heal. She needs to heal and she needs to start to look at how she affects others and how she interacts with society. Now, I have notes because I'm not trying to fly off the cuff today. I really want to resolve this. Um, so, excuse me if I check my notes. Um, but I really am hoping that Katie is looking at her perceptions of what is acceptable and what is approved by our fan base and by society um, how maybe perhaps the way she views herself is askew and that she's realizing that you know her place and beliefs and status is not nearly as important as the means in which she obtains it that would make me very happy simply put it is better to have minimum fame humanely as opposed to moderate fame inhumanely only she can decide this it's up to her She's the only one that can resolve this, fix this, and move forward from this. And how she does that is up to her. It will, however, affect a lot of people. Now, like I said a minute ago, I have two opposing forces in myself. Um, I've been that way since I got my education and started my careers. I loved my careers. I actually 
cried vehemently for two months when I had to leave work due to my health. Um, but I have a parole officer brain and I have a counselor brain and these things conflict a lot. But because they conflict, I'm constantly questioning myself, which comes in really handy for people that want to ask me questions or ask advice or say, have you thought about this? God, I've thought about it both, both, you know, parts of my brain 50 times over. So I've thought about it. Um, but I can be very harsh and rigid with the parole officer side. I can be very um, comforting and I want to smooth over, smooth over issues for people, create an easier more enlightening path for people that are struggling. And sometimes I just want to call you out and go, what the bloody heck? I'm sorry, I need cheer wine. But in the case of this little mess that's going on right now, I think it's time to pee on the fire and call the dogs because I think it's over. I don't think the fans are going to get what they feel they need. I say they feel they need because really you don't need anything. But more upsetting to me, I don't believe that she is going to do anything that's going to help up Church Hill. I think he's all on his own. I think he's, he's going to have to dig deep and get through this, and I have no doubt that he will, and he'll be fine. Um, I think she's struggling, and my question to her is, are you struggling now after doing this? Are you struggling to better yourself, or are you struggling to say, how can I use this to generate even more of a power career boost? If you have caused this much harm to somebody and you're still thinking of a career boost, it doesn't bode well for how you're going to age and the people that you're going to be surrounding yourself with in the future. Think about that. Think about that long and hard. Trust is, is a key component to anything. Um, often when we have power, we feel we can shout from the mountaintops and we can demand respect, or respect when in fact, uh, true power is basically the ability to reduce our own importance and care for a larger number of people on a larger scale. Um, someone with true leadership potential, they very rarely think of themselves. And I think that's something that we, whether we want to admit it or not, we all know in the back of our head, we all have that little voice that identifies these truths. And these truths are almost consistent across the board. And we all kind of recognize them. Um, I wrote down a little thought. It said, we are anything and everything. We are the ripples we create in the world. And whether we toss our pearls of wisdom in an ocean or a mud hole, we have to be prepared for the effect afterward. Um, it's important to also know we can correct those ripples and we can go back and kind of edit life. Life is, in many ways, able to be edited. You can create a new intro. You can start again. Society is very, very actually forgiving. If they see a genuine desire, they're very forgiving. They'll say, okay, let's start over. I think that's something that we need to celebrate right now. We need to celebrate um, a positive change instead of committing to a bad idea at this point. So I, I hope she's maybe saying, okay, I can do something good from this and I can continue on a better path rather than really grip to this negativ negativity I've generated and just <laughs> ride it long and hard. And I hope she's really thinking about that right now. Um, my other concern was, is she in a place where she's never had this occur, so she's in like this huge domain of the unknown? And that can be scary. That can be terrifying. And sometimes when we face the unknown, we, we get very defensive, we get very angry, and we think that we have to really throw our ego around. And that's so wrong. When you get in a place where you don't know what's going on and you don't know how to handle it, you need to internalize. You need to go inward. When you witness something that you go, oh, crap, I'm capable of that, it's time to have a long, hard conversation with yourself and go inward. Really, to quote Danzig, go into the belly of the beast and have a long and hard, you know, very honest conversation with your ego. Everybody talks to their ego. It's, it's, it's okay. People talk to your ego. It helps. Um, when you confront the worst of yourself, you, you kind of admit honesty to yourself. And it makes you very much more aware how other people may view you. Because you're willing to see the big black shadow that other people see that maybe you were not willing to focus on beforehand. You had those blinders on. You didn't want to see it. Um, I would likely say that right now they're both restructuring in many ways. They're um, changing views and beliefs and 
you know, they're, they're kind of trying to sift out of this emotional landslide and this chaos and anger. And we as fans, we have to move back and allow them to process and find a way to move forward. This should be done with their closest friends, their loved ones, and anyone that they've brought in for neutral aid as a professional. We have to respect their need to be normal people. We, we don't, we look at celebrities and we think that um, we put this barrier between them and normalcy and that's honey they eat shit and fish just like everybody else i know it's very rude i'm country i'm sorry it happens but they're normal people my throat is dry i'm sorry but we really have to allow them to be normal people and to process through this because we would not want to be hounded and i think some of the stuff the memes and stuff the negativity that's really affecting ryan right now this is a great learning curve for the fan base there is a place and time for everything. This is not the place and time for the sarcasm and the wit and um, the really dark black memes. It just kind of needs to stop. Um, I hope that they both come out stronger, more grounded. I hope that others have learned from this lesson. And I just want to say for, for Ryan, you know, how very brave that you were to face this head on, how very broken you were with your honesty and you know how very authentic you were in your request that other people not go and you know just perpetuate the hate i think that the lesson that he taught us just yesterday with his video is a lesson that we all need to learn it's best to move on apply the knowledge move forward you're a smart man at church so i hope this is the last of it um i certainly don't want him to think i'm picking or using this for some kind of claim to fame i think from now on i would like to see suggestions about what you want me to talk about if you have questions or you have issues in life that you want to share that i can discuss of course it doesn't replace actual therapy with a licensed professional that you go and see um, but i can certainly give you a good rounded opinion and um, maybe a pathway to start a better momentum in your life as well but I, I will try to create more content now. Um, let's see if y'all stick with me. I appreciate it. I've had like 10,000 views. Huh. That's hilarious to a girl like me. That's hilarious. Um, but I really appreciate the views, the shares, the love. I think I've had like three thumbs down out of 10,000 views. That's amazing. That's amazing. That means that you all are thirsty for positive um, emotional support. And as long as y'all are thirsty, I'm going to keep doing it. But as for Ryan, this is my genuine hope that things are better today, that things continue to get better every day. And if you find yourself in a place where you need some grounded um, advice or opinion or uh, somebody that's not going to jump on the bandwagon with any emotion um, because they are a follower, just hit me up. <laughs> I'm nothing if not belligerent and honest. <laughs> so... Thank you all again, and we'll see what happens over the next couple days and see what kind of feedback I get and where we go from here.